Everyone, Christian here, and I am uh, in downtown Fort Myers. It's uh, Friday evening, and there's a little, a little event they have every third Friday of the month. It's like an art walk, or they just have a bunch of all the bars are open and stuff, so we decided to come down and take a look, and unfortunately it started raining on us, but uh, you can see here, I wanted to show you everyone what a more of a real solid Zone 10 looks like, and that Fort Myers downtown is definitely a solid Zone 10. Right here on the water, you have the urban heat island effect. Uh, things like you can see the 30, 30 to 40 foot uh, royal there, uh, up against it's taller than that, I used to call it two and a half story uh, building. And um, that's been there for a long time. It's at least 40 years old, I'd imagine. And it's been through all the hurricanes, through all the freezes. And it, uh, you know, it's definitely it's, uh, shown the test of time. These royals here are probably 10 ish years old. They might have been placed after Charlie. They did a little renovation of downtown about 10 years ago. So that's probably where they're from. So I don't know if you can see that right in the, there is Vichia. And there's a lot of tall ones down here, definitely a sign of zone 10. Um, and then we have this tree here. And I'm gonna back up a little bit because it's quite a large plant. And this is a banyan tree. This is Ficus bengalensis, which is from the area of Bengal, which is gonna be distribution is going to be mostly like eastern India. I don't know how much of it in India is actually uh, native, but uh, definitely the Bengal area, the eastern area of India is where this is kind of native to. And it's considered the world's largest tree, not this actual tree. There's one down the road that is considered the world's second largest uh, banyan, which would make it the world's second largest tree. I'm not sure if that's actually true. It's just been told, but the way this plant grows is you can see it has this buttress root system that is above ground, so when it, when it branches out like this here, you can see that it has actually been chopped up. The roots come down from the branches and it continually grows and spreads itself out, almost like an octopus in many directions. So over here, you can see the roots coming down. They've been trimmed up just for the sake of people can walk around, because the one at the Edison Ford Estate, which is the second largest one in the world, uh, tried to actually grow into the lab that they have there so uh, it was they had to kind of you know curtail it so it curb its enthusiasm but another thing I wanted to also show some things you guys might uh, people might see when they're just hanging around uh, you know these are just normal uh, Kuntis Samia Floridana and this randomly you'll see here, this is actually a volunteer seedling. So volunteer, I'm actually gonna, I'm considering making a vlog about that, but uh, about what volunteers are, how they come about. But this is actually a volunteer royal seedling. This is a royal palm just growing from a seed that was not meant, that was not planted here on purpose. Essentially that's what a volunteer is. Uh, sometimes people will throw seeds out in the hopes that they will grow. And sometimes birds will just kind of drop them, other animals will bury them and they'll grow. Here's another one here growing amongst the, and I don't, that's actually a palmetto leaf, that's not a royal, you can, it, the waxiness of the leaf you can kind of tell, and it has this bifid that is very long, a royals wouldn't be that long, and it wouldn't, the mid ribs would not be as pronounced there, so, uh, I'll get into that in another seedling video though, because I'm focusing more on like the downtown aspect of, uh, Fort Myers being a, more of a tropical area, so, um, other things to note is just, you know, really, uh, I can't find any here at the moment, but there's, if you find like 30 to 40 foot tall uh, Arecas, Dipsis lutescens, that's also a very um, good sign of you're, you're in a solid zone 10. Uh, you see, you'll see it sometimes in some nice zone 9s or some low zone 10s, but you, you really want to find the ones that are like really like 30, 40 feet is usually like a yeah, sign that they haven't seen any frost and they kind of really enjoy it there where some are just planted out and they're eight or 10 feet tall and they get burnt back every five years or so. They're not gonna look their best. So here's a couple more older royals. You can see that one's as tall. Yeah, actually the crown is above the top of the building. That's a solid another 35 feet there. So um, it's nice that they left the area kind of, uh, they left the oaks here a lot of towns like Cape Coral decided they want to chop down all the large trees and this oak here is kind of just uh, meandering over the, the uh, road and it provides shade where, and when it's 90 degrees downtown here like it can, when 90 degrees outside it can feel like it's more like 100 here on the street with all the stones 
So these trees, even though there's, this one just kind of has two branches, it's very uh, side heavy, I guess you could say. So here's a view of this banyan from over here. Um, and they planted some Saranoa, obviously in pots at some point. And those, those aren't that old, those are probably from seed maybe four or five years which is actually not that old. I mean, not that, those are actually pretty big for Saranoa saw, saw palmettos uh, from, um, from, uh, from cultivation, not from habitat. So here's another volunteer going on here. That's a palmetto amongst the Saranoas, it appears. See how everything, it's much longer. It doesn't have any arming on the petiole. Let's see if I can get, where's the, where's that? Why can't the camera find, there it is, okay. So you, here I can just rub my finger like that, but I can't do that on the one next to it because it has teeth all over it. So there's a palmetto growing. So if you can notice this Saranoa on the left, see how rigid the leaves are even in the shade right underneath the banyan. And this here, there's a palmetto and this has much droopier leaflets and it has, uh, you know, it kind of has a hairy uh, it has some hair that does grow around it, the palmettos. All sables kind of have that. Um, and there's a scientific name that I can't think of at the moment, but it does determine certain species from others. And um, like some of the larger sables that are from the uh, Caribbean. So here, I walk around the back end, you can see it kind of has this three leveled look. We're kind of looking, this is, this is, now we're, we're facing due north. So this is growing directly south. And you can see these roots want to anchor themselves into the ground and make this thing continue to grow. But I'm sure that someone will come and trim those in the near future. So this is the Lee County Centennial here. So I guess this was dedicated in 1987. So the fact that this is even 100 years old is actually surprising because very few things in Florida are actually 100 years old um, that were man-made. But here's some more cycads. I might go over this in another vlog there's so many of these these are native uh mostly to central florida so anyway the rain's getting a little bit worse but this is uh it's it's some cool old for florida architecture and i figured uh you know why not show that show you what what these older plants look like and you'll see these obviously have been here a long time i'll get the sun's kind of coming out a little bit here and these here obviously were planted so these almost look like they're from Habitat with their gnarly trunks. And these have a beautiful, uh, more, I guess you could say, prettier ringed, um, you know, well-proportioned trunks with a nice fat middle. So anyway, I'll leave that there before the camera gets too wet. I uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions about Fort Myers, Zone 10 climates or anything like that, Go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below and I will get to you as soon as possible. And have a nice weekend, everyone.